With Super Bowl 51 coming up this weekend, it's time to take a look at some of the most important matchups to watch in the big game. Today's video clips will be coming from Madden NFL 17, which can be purchased for $20 this week only through the Super Bowl edition. To find out more, please click the link in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at the top five matchups to watch for Super Bowl 51. Starting off today's list, we have a matchup between tight end Martellus Bennett and the Atlanta Falcons linebackers and defensive backs. Now, Atlanta's base cover three defense can be exploited by getting athletic players lined up against linebackers or even safeties. Atlanta struggled against both the Packers and the Seahawks tight ends, allowing touchdowns to both Jared Cook and Jimmy Graham already in this playoffs. Now, Martellus Bennett himself hasn't been particularly important as far as the Patriots game plans go thus far in the playoffs, but the matchup here actually makes a lot of sense for him to be a, an important part of what the Patriots try to do on offense in the Super Bowl. Bennett is an athletic player, very quick, underrated, and he's also a player who has been a little bit disappointing so far in his run as the Patriots main tight end since taking over for Rob Gronkowski. Now Atlanta's young defenders have started to come around a bit but Bennett can still be a big time playmaker. He can make spectacular catches down the field particularly in the end zone and that's the kind of thing that Atlanta has struggled against thus far particularly in the playoffs but also in the regular season. So watch out for this one because it could be an underrated factor as to what ends up happening in this game. If there's ever been a blueprint for how to stop the New England Patriots offense, the one designed by the New York Giants has to come into play. In both of their Super Bowl victories over the Patriots, the Giants were able to get after Tom Brady, and that's why plenty of attention needs to be paid to Atlanta's Vic Beasley. Beasley quietly led the NFL with 15 and a half sacks this season. He moves all around the field, creating tons of matchup problems and really confusing the defenses with his ability to get off the edge quickly and also make moves onto the inside as well. Now, Brady was sacked only 15 times in 12 regular season games this season, and the offensive line is definitely going to have to step up and continue to do that in the Super Bowl. If they're not able to block him one-on-one, -on -one, one of the things that's wise to do if you're New England is to chip him a little bit off the edge with a fullback because if you don't make that happen, Vic Beasley is going to make you pay and it's going to be a major problem for the New England Patriots. Of course, one of the big matchups to watch is going to be the quarterback battle between Tom Brady and Matt Ryan. Now, obviously, these guys aren't going to be on the field at the same time, but the battle is still going to be very interesting to watch. Which offense is going to be able to attack the defense? Which offense can stay on the field longer? Which one can put out bigger plays? And which one can, I guess, in the end, just put up more points? Because that's the name of the game in this matchup. There should be plenty of points scored in this football game. On the New England side of the ball, obviously, a lot of weapons. Out of the backfield, you've got Deion Lewis. You've got James White. You've even got LeGarrette Blunt from time to time catching passes for Brady and obviously out wide he has some players that can make some big plays for him as well Chris Hogan you've got Julian Edelman playing out of the slot primarily you've even got like guys like Malcolm Mitchell as well and obviously we already talked about Martellus Bennett being one of the players to watch in this matchup now for the Atlanta side of the ball it's pretty much Julio Jones as far as the big play receivers go we do also have Taylor Gabriel who can get, who can obviously go deep but it's going to be need to be more than that because New England is known to take away the opposing team's top players and because of that other players like tight ends and running backs out of the backfield Devonta Freeman Tevin Coleman those type of guys Taylor Gabriel Muhammad Sanu they need to step up and help Matt Ryan win this battle because if Brady outshines Matt Ryan it's going to be a very difficult game for the Atlanta Falcons Second-year head coach Dan Quinn will have his hands full this Sunday as he goes head-to-head, toe-to-toe with the man, the myth, the legend, the guy who will now be coaching in his seventh Super Bowl as a head coach 
Bill Belichick. Now, Belichick obviously is known as being one of the league's smartest coaches, but Dan Quinn has done an excellent job. It's also worth noting that Quinn was actually the defensive coordinator for the Seahawks when they played the Patriots a few years back in the Super Bowl, and that game obviously came down to the Patriots making a big play on defense. The Seahawks defense, for the most part, did their job in that game, and it's going to be interesting to see if the Seattle defensive scheme is going to be something similar to what Atlanta tries to roll out in this game. Now, statistically, New England's defense is quite a bit better than Atlanta's, but Atlanta does have players that can get after the quarterback, and we've seen in the past, obviously, that the Patriots have struggled when opposing teams have been able to get after Tom Brady. So that's what I expect to see. I expect a lot of heat, and if Brady ends up making mistakes, we could very well see this game go in Atlanta's favor. However, Bill Belichick has been known to be one of those guys who completely changes things up, and I do expect that Belichick is going to have plenty up his sleeve in this game, and it could very well come down to a coaching battle here in Super Bowl 51. There's been no shortage of media attention this week for wide receiver Julio Jones as he has really been the catalyst for Atlanta not only being a great offense but also finally coming together as a full unit to make a run at the Super Bowl. And on the other side of the field, we have a cornerback that has been one of the most underrated players in the league the past two seasons and that is Malcolm Butler. Butler was one of the highest rated cornerbacks throughout the regular season by Pro Football Focus and obviously Julio Jones was one of the highest rated wide receivers by Pro Football Focus as well. Now Julio is nursing a little bit of an injury and that could end up slowing him down. He has been held out of practice a little bit this week and obviously last week as well as they tried to prepare for the Super Bowl. But the battle between Butler and Julio Jones is definitely one to watch. It's going to be potentially the thing that swings this game one way or another. And that's why I believe you have to keep your eyes on this matchup one way or another. Either we're going to have Julio Jones and he's going to make huge plays. Or is Malcolm Butler going to be able to shut him down or at least keep him in check without having help over the top? If he can do that... This game is very likely to go in New England's favor, but obviously if Julio Jones and Matt Ryan can make connections, it's going to be quite hard to stop Julio and that dynamic Atlanta offense. If Julio is able to get loose, it's going to be extremely difficult for them because they're going to have to cover him over the top with safeties or potentially underneath as well with linebackers, and that obviously will leave other players open or potentially even the running game open. So in the end, guys, these are the five most important matchups to watch, in my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. Do you agree with me on these matchups? Are there other things that you're looking forward to, particularly player matchups, coaching matchups? So let me know in the comments section below, guys, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl MVP? Is it going to be Brady? Is it going to be Matt Ryan? Is it going to be Julio Jones, Malcolm Butler? Who is it going to be? Let me know in the comments section below. And obviously, guys, let me know as well, who do you think is going to walk away with the Super Bowl trophy, the Lombardi trophy in this year's game? Is it going to be Atlanta finally getting it done? Or is it going to be, again, the New England Patriots walking away with what will be their sixth Super Bowl under the Belichick and Brady era. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.